Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that I can create barcodes using Python. So first of all, let's see what is the system requirement. Obviously, you need stable Python installation, which is pretty obvious. And then we need only one Python external package. Let me show you. Uh, Python, sorry. Uh, pip install Python and then barcode. Just press enter. And this package will be installed for you. For me, it's already installed. So let's create a folder which I have already created with the name barcode shift plus mouse right click open powershell window here actually we won't be creating uh, any script we will just be writing in a command prompt only because there are like only four to five python lines and I don't want to waste time in writing code then saving it and running it so we'll run in a powershell only let's open the python shell here and first of all you need to import barcode now I get a lot of messages on my Instagram on my whatsapp and in the comment section on video also saying that barcode was not recognized people you have to install the module first to make it run <laughs> so please don't ask me such questions that this module was not recognized if there is a genuine question then ask me but please don't ask such questions like uh, like this module was not recognized obviously you have make any spelling mistake made any spelling mistake or you haven't installed the package so follow me step by step and you will get the output surely if you will miss one step in between you will get error so follow me step by step actually this is the reason why I don't upload source code now because people used to just download the source code and then ask me question that this was not there and this was not there so it was all messed up so <laughs> uh, now let's create the class variable and barcode uh, dot get and barcode class uh, sorry barcode class now there are many classes that you can use to create barcodes let me go to the official ppi of of a python barcode here there you can see there are this many uh, number of classes available now i have tried only two which is en30 and code 39 en30 lets you enter only a 13 digit number but with code 39 you can enter alphabets also special characters also and whatever you want but with uh, en13 you can only enter 13 digit numbers so let me show you that how en13 works so first of all we'll go with the en13 then we'll provide this uh, let's say capital hr uh, with our value let's say I want to provide a 13 digit number let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 which is 11 12 and 13 so there you can see we are having 13 numbers and now let's save this let's say qr is equal to hr dot save and then the name of your uh, file here let's say one two three one two three four whatever it is and we'll press enter if we go back to the folder you can see an svg file is created now this is the default format by which the barcode is created and if we click on this the 
Internet Explorer is the default program which will open this at least for me and no go Microsoft and there you can see that this is the barcode now if you have a QR code scanner you can scan this barcode with that QR code and you can and you will surely get this number so now let me show you that how you can create the image file or the PNG file instead of this SPG, uh, SVG file and we will also change the class here we will use like uh, what was the second one yeah code 39 so let's use code 39 and we will use code 39 here code 39 and actually we need to import another thing from barcode dot writer import there should be a space here import uh, image writer now here we are using the pillow library uh, barcode dot writer is not defined it should be writer here <laughs> uh, just a second and let's press enter and image writer is not defined because there should be only one t here and let's press enter and let's create the class variable and we'll use our previous codes so we'll simply change the class here uh, the class name is code 39 so let's write code 39 and we have to write writer just a second writer is equal to image writer okay press enter and writer was not defined and actually this is not the parameter here first of all we have to define the uh, class only then uh, let me show you this one okay so here we have to define the writer not in the class specification here we will define the writer uh, and this will be image writer this is a class and image writer is not defined okay so there we go and and then we'll simply save this where was the command yes this is the command let's say one two three four let's save this let's go back to our folder and there you can see the image file if we open this we will get our barcode once again open your qr code scanner and you will get this barcode from here okay now let me show you if you can enter any alphabets or not so we'll only go back here and change this into any alphabet let's say a b c d e f let's press enter and we'll save it by the name 5 let's press enter and if we go back to our folder you can see the file here let's open this and there you can see this is your QR code here yeah. so this was it for this video this was a fun project and I haven't used any uh, script because this was just like a four or five line command and there you can see it was very easy we have got some error because of spelling mistakes but this happens with everyone so this is it in my channel I create such short but awesome projects so if you like this one i'm pretty sure you will like all of them so meet you there bye bye